The most common type of blood disorder is one that uh, often strikes without symptoms. It's called iron deficiency anemia, and it affects millions of us. 2822 Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller here, is here to explain. Mark? Candace and Nick, the condition is called iron deficiency anemia. Some of us may be more vulnerable to it. The risk of not knowing you have it could lead to serious health issues. Are you feeling tired lately doing everyday tasks and can't come up with a good reason why? It just might be iron deficiency anemia, or IDA, which affects 6.5 million Americans. So what exactly does it mean to have low levels of iron in your body? When our red blood cells do not have enough oxygen to circulate throughout our system, from our lungs to our other organs, that's when anemia occurs. Besides feeling fatigued, IDA symptoms may include dizziness, weakness, shortness of breath, and dry mouth. One in five women of childbearing years have IDA. It is more common in women than men, but it's important to point out that certain individuals are at higher risk for iron deficiency anemia, specifically those with heavy uterine bleeding, such as heavy menstrual cycles, certain individuals who may have gastrointestinal conditions, such as inflammatory bowel disease, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, even celiac disease and certain individuals with non-dialysis-dependent chronic kidney disease. The condition could end up causing a rapid or irregular heartbeat, an enlarged heart, and even heart failure. But it's important to point out, and in my practice with most patients, they don't have any symptoms at all. The only way to diagnose it is through a specific blood test ordered by your doctor. Adding iron-rich foods to your diet like spinach, legumes, and tofu can help. But the real recipe to effectively treat IDA may be found in your doctor's office. So it's important to have a detailed discussion with your doctor and use IMAHAVEIDA.com to better guide that discussion. Now, your doctor may advise taking iron supplements and even treating the underlying cause if necessary. Head to PAHomepage.com for a link to that website Dr. Gokul mentioned to learn more about iron deficiency anemia.